Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. In today's episode, we're gonna check out all of the crazy corals at Deer Park Aquarium we got in right now. All right, it is a Friday at the time of recording this video and that's a day earlier than I'm usually at Deer Park Aquarium. That's because it's Mrs. Parker's Reef's birthday on New Year's Day. So uh, you know what they say, I better do the right thing and spend the day with her rather than playing with fish and coral all day. The good news for you guys is that means I'm here a day early. I get to take you through the store, have a look at some of the crazy corals here because if you're a fan of torches, if you're a fan of deshies, if you're a fan of gonies, in fact, if you're a fan of almost any coral, there's a heap here you're gonna love. So uh, let me whack a filter on this camera. We'll jump in and check it all out now. All right, last time we were here, we covered the fish. Now, there is a whole heap of new fish in stock as well, but um, in the sake of keeping this video with uh, less than an hour long, we're just gonna focus on the corals this episode. So um, I wanna try and focus on some of the feature corals, some of the ones that really grabbed my eye. And um, we'll start off with this assortment of elegance corals here because there's some absolute crackerjacks in here. I don't know if I've ever seen uh, such an assortment of elegance corals in the one place at one time. From these, uh, we've got this almost teal with uh, gold tips. We've got the model toxic center. We've got uh, the darker teal with the purple tips at the back there. We've got this deep purple guy here with blue tips, which is pretty, pretty crazy. We've got uh, this guy back here with the um, yellowy green through the stems with a purple tip. We've got the solid teal back there. We've got a model teal here. Uh, we've got a gold tip back there. And then this guy here has got the uh, colored tips, sorry, the colored stems with purple tips and a modeled center. A crazy, crazy piece. I absolutely love that one. And um, you can see the prices on the glass there. None of them are exceptionally expensive. In fact, this one, which I'd say, maybe not the brightest of colors, but probably one of the rarest at $120 is super cheap. And this um, beautiful bright piece next to him that really contrasts the colors at only 120, crazy, crazy pieces. Just before we move on to the next bank of corals, I just wanted to grab the DSLR out and put a uh, fish eye lens on it so you could get an appreciation of what a garden of these elegance corals would look like because uh, when you see them from the top down and you see the variety of them all stacked in next to each other, you truly take in the uh, beauty of these corals. And I think definitely in Australia, at least, they're highly underappreciated. I know my friends over in the UK love Aussie elegance corals. They think there's almost nothing better when over here in Australia, we tend to turn, uh, turn our nose up at them a little bit. So uh, if I can do my part to bring back the elegance coral, I hope this top down footage helps, but uh, there's lots more than elegance corals in stock. So let's keep on rolling. One other thing I want to show you in this tank is this uh, little Rhodactus and Zoa rock because um, some of the colors on these Rhodactus, there's three I can see. There's probably some more on the underside. Some of them are huge, beautiful, beautiful. Are they Persian rugs, Dave? Persian rug Rhodactus. The uh, texture and color on them is a crazy, crazy piece. And then over here, we got this uh, interesting fused uh, acro and I think that's a stylo. Um, on the one piece there together living harmoniously. So if you want to create that uh, instant grown out tank look, what an awesome piece to get these uh, two SBS colonies growing next to each other. There's a, a huge assortment here of uh, SBS brown outs going cheap at $15 a piece, three for 30 or 10 for 80. You know my thoughts on wild collected SBS. They do brown out, they do color back up in aquarium conditions. So. Um, you want to get your toe dipped in the water with SPS and just see what uh, they're going to do in your tank. What a cheap way of going about it. Speaking of SPS, we'll come over here where um, Dave has gone a little crazy on the lighting. He's got uh, the two Philips Coral Cares. He's got the Orphec bars and then he's just recently hung some Kessel A360X on here, which um, between you and me suits me just fine because it replicates the lighting I've got in my tank. So I can see exactly what the uh, coral is going to look like in my tank. And there's some gorgeous SBS in here. I'm really digging this, um, this Monty here. He's just gone a little pale from the uh, extra light that's been added, but he will adjust to it in no time and color up. Branching Monty always gets my attention. There's some really nice uh, shortcakes, some really nice assortments of pinks and greens and blues in here. Great assortment of SBS. There's also a uh, blue Hedoni in there or a purple Hedoni that's just been moved over there to uh, get some TLC because uh, the clowns that were hosting him were um, not giving him the amount of love he should have been getting. So we're gonna hand feed him for a, a couple of days, see if we can get him looking his best. But um, 
I think I mentioned in the intro, if you like Deshi, there's probably going to be something for you here. Have a look at these pieces here. I should show you the front of the glass first because um, check out this beautiful master grade Deshi with two mouths. Let's just see if I can get some footage from the top there. He has two distinct mouths. I don't know if that means he's just going to have two mouths or if he's going to eventually split over time. I've got no idea, but it's a definitely a, a fairly unique piece. There's this awesome little red guy in front that's been here a few weeks now. I keep eyeing him off because um, he's quite an affordable little uh, deshi and I like just the contrast he gives over some of the others. This beautiful uh, blue and red striped piece back here, absolutely stunning, really nice contrast of colors there. This speckled orange guy here is beautiful, really bright. Again, contrast against the other pieces really well. And then if we come down the bottom here, we've got uh, a crazy Wilsoni. Super unique to Australian waters, these corals, and um, that one has no shortage of color. A little scooter blenny come up to say hi to the camera as well. Intrigued in what we're doing. Sitting in front of a couple of really, really nice wild caught chalice. This uh, yellow with blue splashes through it. The one in the back there did get a sting from uh, a couple of torches, but uh, check out the red splashes through him. Super crazy piece. And then uh, speaking of torches, well, there's no shortage of torch here. I might even just be quiet for a second and let you take in some of the color variants here from um, what we call rasters to hulks to solid greens or blue tips, orange tips, yellow tips, purple and green, green and blue. <laughs> the variations continue and um, man, there are some nice torches there and believe it or not, that is not all of the torches. There's even more in the tank behind me. So. Um, but just before we whip across to those other torches, I thought I'd put the macro lens on the DSLR this time, just so we can get an even closer look at some of these pieces. That chalice has been calling me now for a couple of weeks, and I tell you what, if it's still there in another couple, I might just have to find a few dollars for it. I'm looking forward to seeing that red one heal back up because it's got uh, those red veins through it, which is absolutely gorgeous. And um, probably going to move on to the star of the show, if I'm being honest here, and that is the variety of torches. And I really wanted to give you a top-down view of these torches because... Um, Nothing quite brings out the color like a DSLR. And um, you see how bright those orange tips are on that guy there. The green is literally doing damage to my camera sensor. It's that bright. Then you've got these rasters here with the green and gold in there. The darker solid greens, the green tips. We've got the purple with greens and uh, Man, it just goes on and on. I know I said I'd be quiet and let you take in the beauty of these corals, but um, it's hard to stay quiet because um, have a look at them. How gorgeous are they? Have a look at these greens with blue tips or a palish tip. Some more of those rasters, that one there, a particularly nice raster. We've got some of the mauves with purple tips, the solid greens there, the, uh, I guess the, the dull green with yellow tips, and then you've got the solid bright greens. We've got more purples. Oh man, they are nice torches. And you can see that uh, Dave has perfected the torch keeping in his system here. He's been playing with something a little bit special that I'm hoping we can cover in a uh, video in the next few months once uh, the science has been completed on it. But uh, he has his torch corals absolutely thriving in this system and um, it's just a sight to behold. So uh, stay tuned for that. But I did promise there were more torch corals. So I guess we should scroll across and check those out now. Check out some of these torch. We've got gold stem with uh, teal tips, mint tips, purple stems. We've got the greens with blue tips. We've got the uh, golds, greens with pink tips, yellow and purple banded. This monster showpiece green. What are these going? What are, what are they being called, Dave? Just showpiece torches. <laughs> Whether you want the multiple head, this guy's probably around 10, 12 heads. Something like that, a big piece. Dave is nodding behind uh, the camera. Whether you'd rather the 10, 12 heads or uh, one, two, three heads, there's plenty of options there. And you can see the colors there. They are just absolutely crackerjack. And then if recorder or more your style, there's quite a few options down here as well. Check out uh, the two in the background there. We've got a nice uh, solid sort of deeper red to those ones, a maroonish sort of color. You've got this smaller orange guy with the uh, ring. We've got the cheaper end recordia there. We've got this crazy, crazy striped multiple color big showpiece recordia there. We've got this other guy back here with a white streak through it, Cruella de Vil style. We've got a couple more of the cheaper options here. We've got a nice solid green. We've got this beautiful solid orangey red one there. And then we move on to gonies and alveos. And um, 
some of these goonies have been sitting here a couple of weeks as well. Have a look at the color variants on this guy here. He's got uh, pinks and blues and yellows through there. This one at the back here at 150 is pink with um, yellow eyes. You've got a great assortment of what people are calling rainbow goonies. They've got a couple of colors in them, probably enough, not enough to classify them as a rainbow in my eyes, but um, there is no shortage of color in there nonetheless. All right, let's see what else we can find. Scoot past here, this trio of um, Great Barrier Reef uh, clowns are still here hosting in their uh, pink hedoni. They were not giving any food to that blue one, so um, let them be. They can have their, their pink one into a $60 tank. Now, I did say I was gonna just focus on some of the spotlight corals in here, um, some of the ones that I deliberately think are the pick of the bunch. I just wanted to come across here because there's a uh, beautiful bower banky and a uh, five-year up there that personally I can't believe are in the uh, $60 tank. Gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. And then if we come across here, there's some really nice leathers, some lobos in here that um, if these were called scollies, not lobos, which let's be honest, they're not that far apart, they would sell for probably 10 times that price. Uh, this guy here in the corner has got uh, red, green, blue through him. You've got the opposite with red and blue there. We've got some yellow splashes here, got some speckles up there. Crazy assortment of colors. I don't know why Lobos are not as popular as Scullies. To be honest, they're very similar in my books. Coming on down here, we've got some pretty crazy Cephastria. Got these gorgeous gold, solid red. Good assortment of sun corals and some uh, nice basic torches, I'll call them. Some darker ones there. We're gonna make your ultra torches just pop if you have them scattered around. But uh, let's move back on over to some of the slightly more premium pieces. You can see this is the $80 tank. And uh, there is a good assortment of hammers in here. Different assortments of uh, greens, your uh, models, your solids, your teals. There are a couple more Fabias down here that are pretty special. This guy's quite nice, a couple of scollies, and then this one here, um, little red splashes and veins and yellows through him. Really nice uh, Hulk green Rhodactus back there and a forest fire behind him, as well as a, a couple of Deadpools there in a $80 tank. This crazy uh, assortment of speckled greens. Got some nice chalice up in there, some acans, some more gonies, candy canes, a terrified little uh, clown tang hiding behind there. There's quite a few clown tanks scattered throughout the uh, coral tanks at the moment, and they all look like they would never hurt a thing. But uh, unfortunately for clown tanks, we know that uh, that's not always the case. They do end up being quite bullies. Into the $200 system now, or three for 500. This is where some of the uh, really nice hammers are hiding. I love this real long stemmed guy in the back here. He's got the real nice deep green base with purple tips. This modeled uh, yellowy green piece is really nice. There's a couple of other really nice contrasting pieces in there. Coming on down to the bottom, you've got some really nice trachophilia here. These guys really enjoying life. Nice and fat and fluffy, good assortment of colors. There's yet more elegant corals and yet another scaredy cat uh, clown tang, little baby, but uh, as I mentioned, he will grow up. Really nice gold chalice there, some more Wilsoni and a uh, super, super bright red Cynaria. All right, coming across into the final systems now. We've got up the top here some crazy Bower Banky, some Rhodactus, some Chalice, Dragon Soul Favia. I'm not sure what the Favia is behind it, but the two of those give such an awesome contrast. This crazy uh, Acan assortment there, which there's some beautiful colors going on in there. Some nice scullies hanging about there. Be a nice little scully garden indeed. Check out this uh, goni down here, it's super bright. He's hiding in the corner, but um, he's lighting it up like no tomorrow. This goni here that's stretching out has got some purples and reds and blues and then yellow eyes, really nice colors to it. Got some button scullies down the bottom of the tank there, particularly like this guy over the left there with the little splashes of green through him. Got some nice blastos there. This one in particular, super bright. And we've got a couple of chalice over here with the uh, sail fins that are just cleaning up a little bit of algae that came in with these pieces. And I couldn't help but bring out the DSLR just another couple of times to show you these button scullies and the blasters and pieces in this tank because uh, I must admit I'm not the biggest fan of uh, button scullies. I feel like I'd rather uh, the real deal, the full size scully, but uh, when you have a good close look at these guys, look at the color on that guy in the back left hand corner, absolutely crazy. And then, yeah, these blastos, they're still getting cleaned up a little bit. They came in a little bit of algae on them, but uh, 
What a great assortment of color there are in these ones here. And then the one we're just about to show on screen now. Ooh, look at the bright orange and blues on that sucker there. And a nice, real nice shape to it, a full circle. Then you've got these other ones here that are just uh, maybe not as bright, but they've got just crazy colors and patterns in them. You see that really cool chalice up there with a bit of a model on it and uh, another chalice in the bottom corner there. But uh, I want to focus on this morph just to finish things off with because it is crazy. Look at the green with solid gold spots on it. All right, up to the final tank of the video. This is the $120 tank or three for 300. This is where a lot of the, um, I wouldn't call them non-showpiece hammers, but the, I guess the one step down from showpiece hammers where you build your uh, garden around your showpieces and there's a great assortment of colors and styles in there. But for me, the stars of the show are this tank of these chalice because uh, look at the pink, the orange and blue, the red and blue, the convict, this one here with the orange eyes, absolutely gorgeous pieces. And uh, I will just wrap the video up by grabbing the DSLR out one last time. Have a look at that beautiful orange chalice there and uh, that Dragon Soul Favia. You can see the new growth has got the yellow coloration around the outside, which really makes the piece pop an absolute treat. We've got some gorgeous acans here. Have a look at the stripes and the colors and combinations and contrasts here. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. Unfortunately for me, acans are an absolute favorite of my angels, so I can't put them in my tank. That Favia, on the other hand, though, could make its way into the tank. It's a beautiful piece. I'm not sure if they call it a watermelon or something along those lines, but it's a stunning piece nonetheless. Believe it or not, I managed to get all the way through filming these corals without picking up any for myself. I did pick up a little porcelain crab to put in my soft coral tank, but uh, that will have to be enough because it's time for me to go now and focus on my wife's birthday. I hope you all have a wonderful New Year's Day. Till next time, guys, stay safe, keep reefing. Cheers. Bye.